Well, hello friends, Janine here. I am coming to you with a Timu haul. Um, I feel bad that I have not um, shown y'all more of these hauls because actually my husband and I have been buying quite a lot of stuff from Timu over the uh, last six, well, probably longer than that, probably since about January. Um, we happened upon it. My husband actually did. He saw some shoes that he was able to get for like less a pair of tennis shoes he was able to get for less than ten dollars and he was so pleased with them that it kind of started this whole ball rolling of us buying stuff from timu um and we were a little skeptical at first and i have noticed that since we started buying from them their prices have kind of been creeping up steadily uh, so some things aren't as good of a deal as they once were from Timu, but some things have just really been stellar. So I'm gonna show you my latest haul, and then I've gathered some other stuff up, um, and I'm gonna show it to you. I uh, don't know that you can still get it or at the same prices, and honestly, I don't have any of those prices in front of me right now. So that's gonna be one of those uh, things that I'm gonna put in the description below, uh, what I paid for all of the things that I show you. And um, if I can link up uh, some of those things I will. Uh, but anyway, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you some things from past Timu hauls. Um, and some of them I know are still available. Some of them not so much. But this has been one of my favorite things. I like keeping my stamps and dies and stencils and such in binders. And this was a binder that was specifically for... Um, holding uh, dies um, and I like it they had all these different you can buy sets of the pockets um, and they each have a little flap you know keep everything in and uh, so they each you can get the cover is one price I think it's like $3.98 and then all of these uh, and again they come in sets of five uh, and then they have them where they're divided in half or divided in fours and so forth I like I just like the the full sheet um, and some of the dies I got from them and the, their dies are unbelievably cheap now how long they're gonna last I don't know um, I have been using the dies that I've gotten from them and so far they're holding up fine uh, but given their price I can understand if they don't hold up this is a set of sentiment dies that I got from them and honestly I can't read some of them they're backwards but some of them I can so like this says uh, grateful um, and this one says together. Uh, so some of them aren't necessarily so great for a sentiment for a card, but for the price that they were, because their dies run anywhere from a dollar and some change to three or four dollars, so they're not really expensive. Um, I have dies in here that I acquired from other places. Uh, this Merry Christmas die I got from them. I'm about to start making Christmas cards, so I wanted to get a Merry Christmas die. Um, and I like this one. And I like that the uh, it had the words, but it also had the shadow uh, dyed. So I like I like mounting the sentiments on uh, a shadow anyway. So that was something I got from Timu. Those dies, these were dies I already had. I got these oval dies from Timu, um, and several others. I got a lot of floral dies from them. I've got a, some. I've got a quite a few background dies coming in soon. Now, these are some baby toys because I do have a new grandson, so I got him these cute teething toys. I thought they were precious. They're flexible enough, but they are still uh, solid. It's not something he's going to be able to chew through easily or chew little bits off from, and I just thought they were really cute, the little tools. Um, I've got some other, and I'm sorry I didn't pull those in. Maybe I've got another Timu haul coming in, another order coming in. So when I get that one, I'll show you some of the other baby stuff I got, like a um, baby thermometer, it's on a pacifier, and a um, uh, medication delivery system that's also on a pacifier. This is a bathroom toy. It sections onto the side of a bathtub. I'm so sorry for that loud noise. But it's cute. Little monkey and little cups to pour the water in, and then it makes the little thing spin. You know, really cute for little ones. Um, his big sister is three, so she can enjoy this until he's old enough to enjoy it. So let me start emptying this bag of Timu stuff. This is an example of the pair of shoes that my husband likes to get from Timu. 
He has a uh, neuropathy and diabetic nerve pain in his feet and it affects the top of his feet uh, primarily. And these shoes are really stretchy on the top. And so he has really enjoyed, I think this is the third pair we've gotten in a different color. He's got beige and black and now navy blue. This was the most expensive pair we've gotten him so far. Um, this one was $17. The others, like I said, one pair he got for 3 or $4 and then another pair for, I think, 12 or 13 And then these uh, were 17 but they were well worth it. They're very lightweight. A uh, nice cushiony heel and again some give and stretch on the top uh, and they're true to size he wears a ten and a half he's ordered ten and a half and they fit perfectly this is uh, some silicone bakeware uh, I want to say this was around somewhere between 13 and 17 dollars I don't remember exactly um, I liked the little mini uh, muffin si or mini loaf sizes, and then they had two sizes of muffins, larger and smaller. And I'm sorry, I should have taken all this out of the plastic for you, but that would be so noisy. Now here we go. So yeah, here's the little mini ones. Those are cute. Those would be great for little kids, for a little kids party. And then the larger, more regulation size. It's supposed to be silicone, but I gotta tell you right now, this is some of the flimsiest. Silicone is pretty flimsy, but this, I gotta tell you, is pretty darn flimsy. So I'll have to come back to you later and let you know how this stuff worked out if that, with actual baking. Um, I'm hoping that it uh, everything doesn't stick horribly inside of it. That would be very distressing to go through the trouble of making something. Now this is from their craft section. I gotta tell you, and, and I'm gonna qualify this and just go out on a limb and say it. I know that right now ordering a lot of stuff from Timu, especially craft supplies, is kind of controversial. People have a lot of feelings and a lot of opinions about it, but here's the thing, if you're on a budget, and you really love crafting and you want the supplies that you see other people using but you cannot afford to pay the prices that they paid you know sometimes you have to do what you have to do to support your craft to support your family and so forth and so this was kind of one of those items for me um these small little uh die cutting machines i have my uh mem we are memory keepers uh evolution advanced um and it's a little bit larger. It's still fairly compact, but it's a little bit larger, and I don't always need a die machine, cutting machine that large. So I wanted something smaller to sit on my desk that could handle most of the type of die cutting I do. Well, these little machines in the States run um, around $50 and up. And I got this one off of Timu for $33 and some change, which was still a little pricey in my opinion for something coming from Timu. Um, and I didn't realize until after it was all said and done that um, actually you can get one from Ali, Alibaba Express, I think, for about $10. But, oh well. You know, I've already got this one. Um, and let's take a look at it. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging yet. So you and I are looking at it together. I'm so sorry about that for the first time. And look how cute. And yes, that is most definitely much smaller than even my Evolution Advanced, which is not terribly large. And I do have some cardstock out on my... Oh, look how cute those little bead plates are. Is that not precious? It's just absolutely adorable. And it's got little suction feet. So we're going to see if it... Uh, I know this is this is the right way to do it, but I'm not I'm right-handed, and to me it just feels so awkward to crank left-handed. So I'm gonna do it a little backwards. But uh, let me see if I can find a small die real quick, and we'll see how well this little sucker works. I love it; it's absolutely precious. Um, my husband and I are planning some vacations coming up, and let me know in the description below if you'd like to see some vlogs of us. Um, uh, we're about to go to Galveston for a little bit. Um, oh, here's a little circle die. That's perfect. And I've got some black cardstock. Oh, a little piece of black cardstock right there. 
that'll be perfect and I've got the little die so I'm just gonna sandwich it up it only comes with an A plate and a B plate uh, so there's not really a whole lot of adjustment to be doing to be done here and I did buy an extra set of plates because again Timu is one of those things that can be here today and then maybe not um, in a week or a month or a year from now um, so I did go ahead and buy a couple of extra plates just to make sure I could get them while they were available oh you heard that pop it cut So let's see perfect cut so I'm really stoked about this I know it's a, it's a little thing it's just a little die cut machine but this is gonna fit so much easier on my desk and this is going to be a lot so I was telling you about my husband and I are about to do some traveling and I want to take card making supplies with me but my evolution advance is kind of heavy to tote around this is much lighter it's still heavy it's still solid but it's much lighter than my Evolution Advance. So I am super stoked about that. I mean, I can't complain about a result like that. That's absolutely perfect. And I'm glad I went ahead and got the extra plates just in case it becomes something that's difficult for me to locate in the near future. Um, I know it's going to take me a while to need them, but I'd rather have them when I need them. And this is another baby item I got. I... I had seen these before, and I've heard people rave about them. They're little food delivery systems uh, for babies that kind of mimic a pacifier delivery. So I don't know. I don't know if it's something my daughter-in-law wants to fool with, but I'm going to pass it on to her. Um, I had, I don't think these are the kind you can do it with, but there are some that you can uh, freeze the baby's formula or the breast milk in it um, to make it kind of like a pop so when they're teething. Um, you know, they can chew on it and gnaw on it um, to relieve their gums because it's cold. But it is delivering something that is nutritional to them. Um, but this is also something you can put like uh, baby food or chunks of food in. and But the holes uh, make it come out slower so that they can't get choked. So, I, again, it's something I'd seen. It's not something that I had when my babies were little. But I was interested and thought my daughter-in-law might enjoy giving that a try when our sweet little boy gets bigger he's only a month old now so he's still a little ways away from uh baby food don't want to fight with that oh this is something i'm really intrigued about so i've been looking at metallic tapes like washi tapes and thinner um uh tapes and i wish i had gotten the gold and the silver in this but this is actually tape for doing floor tile uh, but the reason I got it because it was only a dollar ninety eight I believe and you get a lot of it I mean that's a lot of tape and that's why I'm kind of wishing I'd gotten the black and the gold as well I'm kind of curious how well it's gonna stick but it's tape that people are using for um, covering up their grout lines and or you know trimming out some tile like in backsplashes and on floors and such and I cannot find a pair of scissors <laughs> But anyway, I, uh, oh, there they are. Uh, but I was thinking that this is so more, much more economical because I'm going to show you the rolls of washi tape that I got that are much smaller um, and were more expensive. Um, so, yeah, that actually comes up fairly easy. So I don't know if it'll be good for card making or not. Let me get a piece of white cardstock. You can see better. But maybe even with just a little bit of glue or maybe an e a little extra bit of uh, double-sided tape. But, yeah, I think that would actually be pretty good for... Oh, it's tearing the paper. So, that actually uh, would hold up well enough. So, when I run out of this washi tape I'm going to show you, I will likely be ordering the gold and silver um, versions of this tape. Because look at how much of it there is. That is so much. And then if I didn't want it to be quite as thick, it, I don't think it would be that difficult to deal with. Um, if I just want, like, say, a thin black line, um, you know, maybe under something, really just depends on if you put that down first and then, you know, put whatever you want, uh, it to kind of border, just cover up most of it and it works just fine for that purpose. So, I'm kind of glad I got it. I wish it was just a little bit shinier, um, color in the black, but I think it's pretty cool. 
I think I'm going to probably enjoy working with it. And again, I wish I'd gotten the gold and silver too while I was at it. Oh well. Let's see what's it. Oh, more baby stuff. Look. You know how it is when you have a new grandchild. So yes, look at the difference. So this pack, I don't, I don't really remember the price for the three. It was a, a set of three. But look at the difference. So we've got silver, rose gold, and gold. And look at the difference. Now, these are wider. So, these would actually, to get just that really thin little border um, on some cards, would you're going to end up wasting a lot of this in a sense. So, I, I'm really kicking myself I didn't get the gold and silver of this. Because, again, look at the... Look at the difference in how much you get. But isn't it fun? when We're pretty good at that in the crafting community, how we look at products from other uh, for other purposes and other uses, and we find a way to use them in crafting, like tile tape, you know? But, again, look at, look at how much there is for less than $2. That is just so cool. So, let's see what's next, y'all. I'll tell you, we... Whenever my husband and I order from Timu, we order a lot. So this was around $3, and it's one of those um, for cleaning out when you die cutting and intricate die cuts. And I don't know that I love the way they package this. But yeah, it's for getting out all the little bits and nooks and crannies from the dies. It might not have even been $3. It was fairly inexpensive, and it's, it's cheap. It's lightweight, but the brush, the bristles are really nice and stiff, so I imagine it's going to work just fine. And this is, of course, one of those little holders for um, a pacifier, but it also can hold a teething toy, so I've got a teething toy to go with it. So I thought it was really cute. I just thought this was super cute. And turtles are really in right now, so that's a little teething toy. It's a little turtle. It's got all kinds of little places he can teeth on. Of course, I'm going to sterilize all this stuff before I give it to him. Oh, and I have been enjoying getting stencils. i got to tell you, I've gotten a ton of stencils from Timu, and I'm about to start playing with them. I've seen some Jennifer McGuire techniques um, that I think are really cool. But uh, let me show you. I've gotten tons and tons and tons of stencils from Timu. All of these came from Timu. Um, this is some layering stencils. If you watched me doing my um, uh, stamp swatches for Stampin' Up, that's the stencil I used um, to show how the colors work together. Um, so I got some cute little layering stencils from them. These are all older stencils I already had. Uh, but these are all stencils. I've got some butterflies here. And again, they're layering stencils. This was the ones from the... Um, stamp swatches uh, just all sorts of and their their stencils are so so cheap and I just I, I'm gonna be honest it, and no offense to anyone these are some more layering stencils these are kind of background um, greenery type uh, but no offense to anyone in the American craft industry but I find for what the stencil material is I find what retailers are charging in the US for them outrageous because these I'm getting for a dollar here a couple of dollars there um, so these are some more layering stencils vines um, this one's just kind of a snowflake background this one's a buffalo check and I haven't used any of these yet you can see they're still all in the packaging but I've really built up a big supply um, that I thought was nice geometric background and you can use as many of the layers or as few as you want to really build up the background uh, buffalo check I thought was really cool there's a sunburst uh, this is kind of a design that's popular right now just kind of linear with some little bits and bobs almost looks like bamboo a starburst but yeah I saw some uh, Jennifer McGuire techniques for using stencils and I got really inspired by it so ordered all these stencils to use her try out her techniques so these are all leaf, different leaf designs. And again, these are uh, some flower and leaf designs uh, in a smaller scale. And then in a much larger scale, that's a, a citrus one. Um, this is uh, trees. Again, they're layered. Uh, so it's all different. 
I'm sorry for that glare. Uh, so yeah, it's all background trees coming forward and getting darker. And these are some really giant floral stamps. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, to be honest, but I thought they were really cool. So I figured we can see, we will see what we can do with them. Had some hydrangea and I love hydrangea. So I thought these might be good for some just like really massive uh, backgrounds on cards. Maybe even some uh, packaging. Sometimes I wrap presents in um, just like a newsprint type paper and then stamp on it. I could stencil on it using that. And then these are what I just got in the haul today. And they're uh, just big flowers. Just single layer flowers. They don't um, have any layers to them. But, and it's a bunch of them. It's a whole bunch. And they weren't expensive. Again, I'm going to link them below. And you can see they included a little ring to keep them together. I probably won't do that. But, so I've got this binder. You can see I'm keeping everything in. So, the one complaint I will say about the layering stencils. I don't know why I'm fighting with that. Um, is that there's no registration marks to let you know, um, you know, how to put them together. So, you have to kind of figure that out on your own. So, you know, that is a downside uh, with them. Uh, but if you have a little patience and a little time, you can figure it out. And then you can see with the ones I did, the uh, my stamp swatches, I numbered them. And then I put all the numbers in the top left-hand corner so that I would know um, exactly how they go. So the next time I line them up, it's going to be much easier. So that would be my recommendation if you get their layering stencils. Um, is to do that is to once you figure out how they go together make your own registration work so you don't have to go through that headache every single time you use them so yes definitely recommend Timu for stencils they're awesome they're inexpensive and they're just as good a quality as anything you're going to get in the U.S. to be honest and look I'm all about the USA so don't don't misunderstand Oh, yes, and I forgot about these. Some more stencils. I'm so sorry. I keep knocking my camera. I love sunflowers, and I saw these, and I thought they might be really good for that Jennifer McGuire technique where she makes four cards at one time using stencils, and so uh, I'm going to give that a try, and I got these for that purpose. They're like, this is entirely too big to go on a card. I am way too big even for a 5 by 7 card, so... Uh, but some of the images you could use, maybe p like just parts of them. Unless you're doing her technique where you make like four cards at once and then you could use definitely this image. Uh, and this one for that. So fun stuff. Oh yes, I'm not done. When we make a Timu order, we, we get so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Now, I'm going to say this up front uh, and... Please forgive me um, if you're watching this and some of these stamp sets are for knockoffs of U.S. manufacturers. It was not my intention to buy knockoffs per se. Uh, I just wanted some stamps that I didn't have in my collection specifically for making cards, masculine cards. And I just really found that I lacked a lot in that way. Uh, but little things like this, like embellishments, you don't want to put a bunch of sequins on dudes' cards. But these, I thought, were awesome. These little gears and stuff. And they're lightweight. And I think they'll go great on some men's cards. So I got those. They were really cheap. I mean, everything was really cheap. But again, here comes the stamp sets. Stamp sets. And again, I'm sorry if they're knockoffs of U.S. versions. Wasn't my intention. I understand some... I've heard some talk that... Um, they're not made of photopolymer, that they're made of silicone, that might be. Uh, but with a stamping tool, I feel like you can probably get good enough results with them. Maybe even if you have to condition them a little bit. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. And I got some, uh, the coordinating dies. Um... 
so let's see, I'm trying to put, find the, because uh, I did get some uh, sets with coordinating dies. So these were just some dies that you can cut like out of the middle of a card and, and layer it up and so have the uh, background a different color. It's uh, like a deer and trees. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. There we go. Oh, let me get. I thought that was lovely. Um, and this one is pretty pretty similar, but this one doesn't have the deer. It's just trees. And those are definitely going to go. I ordered another one of these storage binders for dies because I have been getting so many dies because honestly, Timu has made it affordable for me to do so. Um, dies in the States are just really, really expensive. So this was a nice set of uh, stamps. Uh, again, masculine. It's got deer. I want some different wildlife. Um, uh, tree stump. And I've got, this is, these are the dies for a set of golf uh, stamps in here. So I was trying to find the uh, golf stamps that they go with. Here, I thought they were in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. So they go with this stamp set. My husband's a golfer. Both of my sons are golfers. So many of the men I know are golfers. So I thought this would be a great stamp set for that. Um... And I got some, oh, here's one. It's holiday, but I, uh, you know, for Christmas and fall and whatnot, the truck. And then it has, of course, like pumpkins and flowers or Christmas tree hearts. So it's got all occasions, but you can also just use kind of this little wood siding look or barrels and keep it really masculine. Um, maybe black wasn't the great. Let me try this. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so you can see that so much better now. Uh, but, yeah, the truck is timeless. It's classic. Works great for guys. And even, like, my stepdaughter loves that little red truck stuff, so I do that for her. Uh, there's the stamps for the golf. Cute, right? And then I got some papers that I thought would be really great. Uh, masculine. This is all kind of wood tones. I have no clue what kind of quality it is oh gosh surprising it's actually let's see yeah, it's one sided which is fine but mounted on some cardstock it's kind of thin but I really think mounted on cardstock it would be fine. And I don't mind one-sided paper because then I don't have to make a decision. I have a hard time deciding which sides of pattern paper I like when they're double-sided. So I don't necessarily mind uh, single-sided. Keeps me from having to make a decision. Oh, this was cute. This is the uh, little postage stamp looking dies. And there's two of them and they're identical. And Oh, let's run them through the... Uh, oh, that would be fun. Y'all want to do that? Let's run them through the little die cut machine see how they look. I've seen a lot of cards being made with these. Of course, you have to have some small stamps to go in there. But which one of us doesn't have small stamps in our stash, right? I mean, I think just about everybody does. I was trying to find a solid piece of uh, scrap cardstock sitting on this desk. There usually is some. Oh, well, shoot. Well, I'm just going to run it through like that. But anyway. All of us have some. All, it seems like all stamp sets come with. Uh, let's tilt it just a little bit. Almost all stamp sets come with a few small stamps in them. So it won't be hard to find stamps to uh, put in these little spaces to make little scenes out of. It's not wanting to roll through. Let me uh, do it a little differently. Well, I think I just found its fatal flaw. This stamp is apparently too thick for it. 
I can't get the get it to roll through. Oh, there we go. I just wasn't catching it. I wasn't getting a solid bite out of it. Alrighty. Well, I might have to run it through again. Oh, it cut. So cute. Oh, we can test out our little brush, too. Let's see if that works out pretty good. Because it is not wanting to come out of there. Let's see. Oh, it's popping all the little bits and bobs out. There we go. Kind of loosened it up from there. There we go. Well, that's cute. Yeah, but note to self, might need to put a shim in there or run it through a couple of times because it uh, didn't make a clean, clean cut on this. And it is a little bit thicker around here than that um, circle die was. So note to self, use a shim. But anyway, it's fun, right? Those are definitely going in the little binder. Alrighty, moving on. Oh, these are uh, the dies that go with that stamp set with the deer and the other little critters and the stump that goes with those. Um, this is a got a fishing theme to it, and it came with coordinating dies as well. Uh, and it's cute. My husband's a fisherman. Most of the men I know fish. So, again, that's going to be very useful. There's the uh, the spare plates that I got for the little die cutting machine. Uh, I liked this. And it does have a coordinating die, too, somewhere. There, uh, no. Oh, somewhere I've got a coordinating die for this. Uh, I ordered. And it's a wave. Um, got a pelican on um, some pilings. Uh, I, I just really like the the wave action in it. I thought maybe I didn't order the dies. I thought I ordered the coordinating dies to go with it that cuts out that wave so you can stamp it and cut it out and then you can cut out a couple more layers of or at least one more layer uh, to give it more dimension. Um, this was just some lotus flower dies I thought were pretty. Um... Well, shoot, I can't find that die. Maybe I didn't order it. I sure thought I did. It is not in the bag, so maybe I didn't order it. Maybe that'll be in the next Timu order. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's, it's addictive, y'all. So, anyway, so I got the wood backgrounds, but I also got these brick background um, pattern papers. These are going to be so great for making men's cards. And again, they're one-sided, which is fine. The paper's kind of thin. Again, it's fine because I, I mount uh, most pattern paper on cardstock anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, maybe that was it because I really don't remember ordering these lotus ties. I was like, oh, I got some lotus ties. I don't remember that. I bet you they mixed it up because I was supposed to have the dies to cut out the wave, um, but I think they sent me these by mistake. It's okay. For as cheap as it is, I'm just going to go back and get add these uh the wave dies to my next order because y'all I'm telling you they're anywhere from like one to three dollars they are so inexpensive I will do my best to, to put all the prices of everything below um, along with links if the items are still available I will link them below I want to qualify this and I should have qualified this from the beginning of this video I paid for all of this Timu did not ever approach me about oh no here's the wave dies I knew I had them. So you have the big one that cuts this big wave out, but then this one will cut out, um, like a, say if you want to do a lighter color of cardstock, 
and cut that out uh, really cool. And then it's got the dies for the sentiments, uh, as well as the pelican and the stump and some birds. Uh, and I think this might be some more little bits of wave, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, so as I was saying, I'm sorry, y'all. I have ADD. I think I told y'all that in one of my last videos. I apologize. I get sidetracked very easily. Oh, that's what I didn't get. Now I'm just realizing, I think I was supposed to have a die set for the little truck. And I'm not seeing that at all. Uh, so that might be where the mix-up came in. Because I really don't think I ordered these Lotus dies. Not that they won't get used, but I really don't think I ordered them. Uh, but anyway, oh my gosh, y'all, ADD. I apologize. It's it's real. The struggle is real. Um, I I paid for all this. Timu has never approached me about sponsorship. They've never approached me about um, you know sending me product for free. It's just my husband and I happened on it. Um, we like the prices. We were a little skeptical at first, but we have never had an issue. We've gotten everything we've ordered for the most part. I think this is the first slip-up we've had after probably a dozen or more orders that we've placed with them. Um, we've been well satisfied. Uh, so I'm not trying to plug it. I'm not trying to encourage you to go there. Do understand that the quality is probably not the same as some of the things in the um, states. Like this paper is, I can tell you right now much much thinner than a lot of the pattern paper you can get in the states i know the paper i worked with um, that came from pink and maine was three times thicker than this much better quality i understand the dyes maybe are not as sturdy in some cases i don't know some of these are actually really really good um, but for what they cost i will get my money's worth out of them i know that um, you spend your crafting dollars how it works for you and again, I'm not trying to do knockoffs of any big name brands. That's not what I'm after. And I'm sorry I did not have the time to go and research every one of these stamp sets, every one of these die sets to make sure that they weren't a knockoff of a U.S. brand. You know, I just didn't have the time for that. I bought the stamps and the die sets that worked for me. They were what I was looking for. They're giving me an opportunity to make more masculine cards. I know that the stamps are probably silicone and not photopolymer so they're they're not going to stamp as cleanly um but again you know with a stamping tool it should be fine with a little conditioning it should be fine so anyway i guess in a sense i'm not so much defending t moves i feel like i'm defending myself and the way i spend my money but Anywho, if you would like to see some more Timu hauls, if you would like to see some stuff from hauls that I've already done, things I've already purchased and have, let me know. Just leave me a description in the comments section below, and I'd be happy to show you all of the rest of the Timu hauls that we do as they come in. And if you'd like me to come back and review, especially stuff like um, like for the baby, you know, this this baby food delivery system, which I'm still not entirely sure about, but... Are these silicone baking uh, muffin? I keep wanting to call them muffin tins, but they're not tins. But these, because uh, they, they, that really is the thinnest silicone I've ever seen. So if you'd like to know how that works out, again, just let me know in the description below or in the comment section below um, if you'd like to see those, um, a review on those products once they are used. Well, thank you so much for tuning in and watching this long-winded haul. <laughs> I appreciate you being there. And as always, you guys, be blessed and stay safe. Bye now.